Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to Gate CSC 2016 Set 2, guys. Okay, so the given question is consider the following processes with the arrival times and the length of CPU burst given in milliseconds. Okay. So the scheduling algorithm used is a preemptive shortest remaining time first and they are asking the average turn around time of this processes is. Okay, so let us start. So I think for these type of questions always a gang chart will help a lot, right? Yes. So at 0 at the millisecond only one particular guy is inside and up to 3 milliseconds no one came inside. So indirectly up to 3 P1 will execute for 3 milliseconds, right? So now his left out time will be 7. So at 3 millisecond, two people are inside our processor, inside our system. So now who is having minimum time? So P2 is having. So now P2 will continue from 3 to 7. Okay, so from 3 to 7, the value is a 4. So the left out time will be 2. Okay, so at 7 millisecond, this P3 came and his execution is only for 1 millisecond. Wow. So P3 came and he completed his work. That's really good, right? Yes. Okay, so after that P4 came. So P4 wanna start at 8, but his time is 3. But here we are having 2 milliseconds P2. So now let us continue with P2 because we only work with shortest times, right? Yes. So now this is done. So now P4 will get a chance for 3 milliseconds. So once that is done, we will move to P1. So P1 will be done by 20. So let us calculate the total. The total is also 20. So hence there is no silly mistake according to me, right? Yes. So now what they are asking? So they are asking the turn around time that too they are asking the average turn around time. So let us write the completion time first. So completion time is nothing but at what time they have completed. So at 20 P1 completed, at 13 P4 completed, at 10 P2 completed, at 8 P3 completed, right? Yes. So what is a turn around time? Turn around time is nothing but completion time minus arrival time. So 20 minus 0, which is a 20, 10 minus 3, which is 17, 8 minus 7, which is a 1, 13 minus 8, okay, which is a 5. So now I think we can directly calculate the average, okay. So that is a nothing but a 20 plus 17 plus 1 plus 5 divided by 4. So the final answer is a 10.75, guys. Got it? Yes. So I think this is a quite easy and direct question, right? Yes. So it's a direct question based on the thing. Okay. Yes. So did we do any silly mistake? I think we did somewhere a silly mistake. So just to give me a second because answer is not matching. So just to give me a second. Did we do any silly mistake of calculation or something? Okay. So completion time uh, 20 minus 0. Okay. My bad. What am I doing guys? So 10 minus 3 is 17. Sorry for that. 8 minus 7 is a 1, 13 minus 8 is a 5, okay, that's good, so now it looks good, so 20 plus 7 plus 1 plus 5 equal to 33 divided by 4, so the final answer is 8.25 guys, okay, so this answer is matching, okay, sorry for that, silly mistake guys, so 8.25 is the answer, okay, yes. So every time always cross check these values once or twice guys, okay, because whenever we are working with fill in the blanks, we always think that whatever we are getting is correct, right? Yes. So that is the reason why I always cross check once or twice so that these type of silly mistakes can be avoided. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.